Okay, hello everybody. I am back. My name is Chelsea and we're going to talk about some more scam stuff today. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to cover this right away because I don't I don't really know why. I just I had other things that I wanted to cover, but then you know, this happened and some of you are familiar with Nilo Life or Neo Life, Nilo Life, whatever. You know, that one that <laughs> Randy left Transact Card and Finmore, and then he decided to join this one. So to be quite honest, I'm going into this blindly with you guys. We are going to watch this little like coaching Zoom call with Randy, and I'll try to blur out some faces of the other people that are on this call to protect their privacy and such. Randy presents himself as a public figure, so he's the only one I'm not going to blur out. And before we get started in this, again, yes, I am blindly reacting, so I may some say some things wrong because I don't know for sure, but I do know a scam when I spot one. Everything that will be said in this video coming from my mouth will be my opinion based on things that I know about the industry of multi-level marketing because I have experience in it and, you know, all those things. All right, so let's just get down to it and let's watch the Zoom call with our friend Randy and see what this Nilo, Neo, Nilo, whatever life thing is about. I know there's also another MLM called like Neo Life, if this one is Nilo Life, um, because I got confused when I first started looking at it. Let's just, let's just watch. Okay, everybody, I thank you all so very much for being here. Um, you know, if I had my choice, we, we've got a few hundred people here. If I had my choice, what I'd really like would be to have a conversation with you, as opposed to making a presentation to you. And I'm going to try to conduct it along those lines. Uh, this was described as um, the first VIP overview. And I want you all to know that I understand with complete absolute clarity who the VIP is here. The VIP is you. And I feel like I've got a pretty deep obligation right now to help each one of you understand specifically and exactly what the possibilities are. And before I even... You do have an obligation. And I really hope there's clarity because, you know, when the last one you were in, there was zero clarity. So let's see if we can understand this much better. We'll find out break into what the company is. I just want to pose to each of each one of you a question. What is it for you? Uh, you know, I always choose to take just the first minute or two. If we were meeting in my home right now, and I wish we were, I wish we were face to face together. Uh, what I would do is I'd ask you first the question. I'd say, who are you and why are you here? And I kind of need to know that because the message is not the same for all of us. And I'm, I'm looking at one named Ron that I don't know. And some people, Joe, I don't know, because I don't know what it is for you. It's hard for me to be specific. And so this has to be a kind of a broad brush overview, which we then reduce to your personal objectives. This makes me really sad. So the first thing he's he's asking everybody to do is like, think about your why. So he's like, you know, well, if you were in person, this is what I'd ask you. So immediately getting them to think of their why, which is what you do when you're in an MLM and you're trying to be like, so why are you here? Because it gets you like right in the feels and it really makes these people think, okay, well, why am I here? Because I need more money. I need to support my family, blah, 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 whatever, like deep rooted reason that you are here trying to start an at home business that is claiming to give you financial freedom in most situations. Now, we haven't gotten that far into the call yet, but typically MLMs are offering you that financial freedom. And the reason why I stopped this right now, other than the fact that he was to, to point out that he is getting people to start thinking about their whys immediately at the beginning of this video. Um, also, praise yourself. This is probably going to be a pretty long video. Actually, I think I will play back the speed much higher, but um, I'll probably play it at 1.5 speed back after this little break here. But the... <laughs> The reason I stopped it is because I'm looking at all these people and yes, I am going to have like this video blurred out. So until we get to the part where it's like, you know, Randy's presentation and it doesn't show everybody's faces, but I'm looking here and all of these people are of an older demographic and it's just like very sad that those are the people that are kind of falling for this scam and I don't know. It just it just makes me sad. And I really wanted to point that out because you do see the demographic that is falling for this, which is the same demographic that kind of seemed to the majority of them fell for Transact Card and Finmore and are still involved in that group, um, which I did talk about some of those posts in, in the Finmore group on Facebook in my last video. So but let's continue. And I'm going to adjust this playback speed here. But I am. Um... 
pose the question to others, who are you and why are you here? And then I think it's logical that I would respond to that and tell you who I am and why I'm here. And uh, it's really simple. My name is Randy Schrader and why am I here? I was raised many, many years ago in a home with inadequate financial resources. That's why I'm here still. Um, I can still call to mind with greater clarity what it felt like to me when I went to school in third grade and came home and said to my mom, mom, I want Converse sneakers. And she said, Randy, you know, we can't afford Converse sneakers. You know, and I came home from school a couple of days later and I said, mom, I want Levi's jeans. She said, Randy, you know, that we can't afford Levi's jeans. And I can still call to clarity with, I can still call to mind with greater clarity what it felt like to not have enough. Then I can, res then I can respond to my current life experience of having had so much success for so many years. And, you know, my wife is kind of imagined the person because she helped me figure out what exactly it is that I want. Um, she helped me because she helped me create an outline for a book called More Happy More of the Time. And that is what I want. And that's what I think other people want too. And I've come to understand what the contributors are to me at least being more happy more of the time. And I'm guessing those may be some of the very same contributors for you. And those contributors are, and this is, uh, I hope not inappropriate for any of you, it's Easter weekend. It's a degree of spiritual wellness. And I realize that your particular version of spirituality may be outside of mine, but to be more happy more of the time requires a degree of spiritual wellness. I believe it requires a degree of physical wellness and fitness. It, it requires a degree of mental acuity um, and wellness. It requires fitness spiritual and mental i get what he is saying because that's part of like the manipulation factor i'm not really understanding the fitness thing um if you understand that <laughs> let me know how that makes sense i don't know that was kind of pointless for me to stop and interrupt him for that i just really don't understand how fitness aligns with us um because we're not like selling beach body are we i guess we don't know yet so well you might know I don't know yet. This is fun for me to learn what the heck this is. There's that we have emotional wellness. Um, I think it also, if we have spiritual, physical, mental, and emotional wellness, then that makes it possible for us to see, to discern moments of profound opportunity. And that also, also gives us uh, the courage and the clarity to act upon that. So if we have a degree of spiritual, physical, mental, and emotional wellness, then that gives us the opportunity to gain financial wellness. That's what we're here to talk about today. The chance to have a complete, total, absolute financial. All right, I take it back. He's just kind of making sure that it's like your whole thing, your life is put together so that way you can move on to financial wellness. You got to get all your ducks in a row and then we can move on to the financial thing. That's what he's trying to say. Okay, I get it now. Um, but this is still very manipulative. That doesn't take away that part at all. It's a breakthrough in your life if that's what you're looking for. You know, so many years ago, um, I read this very issue of Boys Life magazine. And this issue of Boys Life magazine said when I was in third grade that if I wanted to, I could become a dealer in a direct selling company called Watkins Products. You know, this is a bottle of Watkins Vanilla that I sold 50 years ago. My solution to financial constraints, my solution to financial hardship since the time. That magazine told you you could become rich in a direct sales company or whatever it is. I'm, that's obviously not directly what he said, but what is he talking about? What? I was a little tiny boy has been to engage in a home-based business model. And so when I pose the question of who are you and why are you here? And then I tell you who I am and why I am here. I am here because I was fortunate, blessed. I discovered a way um, quite a few years ago. I discovered a way. Whoops. And someone's sharing the screen. We've got to stop that. I discovered a way to separate myself from financial scarcity. And I discovered. It's like every time I watch something with like Randy, it's like he has no, it's like he's never done this presentation before or he's never done a live video before. He can't ever seem to figure it out. There was, what was that? I was watching Aaron B's and Julie Anderson react to something that Randy did and he was just trying to do like a live stream or something like that. And like he had a microphone on his like lapel, but then like you still couldn't hear him at all. And he was like, forgive me, I'm just not good at technology. And honestly, if this is what you're doing for a living in your home-based business, you better figure out what the heck you're doing and not mess this up. And it just, meh. Nah a way to have that removal from financial scarcity be directly attributed to other people's removal from financial scarcity. And I can think of no greater no greater avocation. Um, I believe that money doesn't solve all the world's problems, but I think that financial scarcity exacerbates almost every other problem. And so we come to the earliest days, the pre-launch experience of a company that I'm completely convinced is going to make a huge amount of difference in a lot of people's lives, a huge amount of difference in a lot of people's lives. And in this conversation of ours, what I want to do is walk you through not just the basic business presentation, Ah, uh, don't you guys just love a good pre-launch? Oh, I do. This will be so fun. But I want to walk you through that business presentation and describe to you my perceptions of this series of realities. And in so doing, I'm hoping that you will understand with clarity why it is that I've chosen to set aside so many other important issues and topics in my life right now so that I can fully and completely address this possibility. And so what is Nilo life? Well, this represents to me more than a business possibility. It represents a possibility to continue a process which has been ongoing for me for many years to do what? To learn, grow, develop, and become that which I must to fully harvest the value of every opportunity available to us in life. So what I want to do, I want to learn, grow, develop, and become. My guess is that if each of you join me in the idea that we learn, grow, develop, and become. There is just so much word salad that comes out of Randy's mouth where like just he says things and I'm just like, 
what are you talking about? <laughs> like, I feel like I just never understand what he says half the time. And it's, it's just funny because in here he was like, yeah, I have clarity. But then like he says that and it's like that didn't make any sense, at least not to me. I didn't I don't understand what the hell he's saying anymore. It's just he's repeating like things that don't I don't know. I don't it may, Is it just me? I just am I an idiot? I don't understand. To me, it just sounds like word salad. It just sounds like things that he's trying to say to like get people to be like, oh, yeah, I do need that. So it's just it's manipulation and things that don't actually like, make sense. We become more successful in all aspects of our life. We'll be more happy more of the time. The company's basic message is to teach, travel, and transform. To teach what? Let's all realize this. My current life successes, my current life experience in total is a result of that which I know, and so is yours. Our current life experience is reflective of that which we know. That is knowledge. Knowledge is a good thing to develop. It's a good thing to gather more of. Knowledge doesn't make any money. The world is full. How many people on this call do you think are probably pretty frustrated if they're not bilingual and they don't know what this says? I personally don't know what this says either. And like, how are we, how are you selling this to somebody when it's like not even in their own language? Because a lot of people in the U.S., well, probably more so now than, than in the past, but it's, it's, oh, I'm just, okay, maybe I'm just judging these people. They don't look like they speak two languages. That's all I'm saying. That's, um, we're just going to leave it there. Knowledge of people who don't accomplish much financially. Uh, knowledge is what we know. Skill is what we know how to do. Um, that is when we identify our natural talents, work, 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 and work to convert those talents into skills which become beneficial to others. And so what do we seek to do in this community? We seek to each person gather the added knowledge, knowledge in what areas? Knowledge in all aspects of life, knowledge specifically as it relates to our primary business purposes. If we gather more knowledge, if we then become resolute each of us in applying ourselves to converting that knowledge into skills that become beneficial to others, we then have an opportunity to have a tremendous financial breakthrough while helping others do the same. So we seek to teach and we seek to grow together communities. Um, and the next, uh, next picture, I think, will be... Uh, my counterparts and new friends who own this business. And one of the things that have been a tremendous fascination to me has been in conversation. It's always like this in a pyramid scheme or pyramid business, as as <laughs> some of these people have said before, that like the reason that you want to get people involved and to help them make money is because when they're making money underneath you, it helps you make money and grow in the company. So it's the hence the pyramid shape of the business. Uh, yeah. With one of the company founders, Eric Allen, who's had a lot of experience in the uh, travel industry, and he talked to me about the realities. If a person comes to one of the curated group travel experiences, the community that is formed, the bond between others becomes so tremendously great that the likelihood of that person remaining actively engaged in the business model, therefore still being a part of your financial success as a result of them doing what they want to do, 90% plus people will return to next year's event if they come to this year's premium curated travel experience in the business side. The premium curated travel experience that he's talking about that gets people bonded, it's just like... That's, it's, it's the events. It's the, um, these big conventions that are like super motivational that, yeah, it does keep people involved. So when you are about to like, be like, you know what, I don't think I'm going to do this, this company anymore, you start to slip and then you show up to the convention and it's just like, in my opinion, just a bunch of speakers brainwashing the crap out of you, telling you that you can absolutely make it in this business. And if you're failing, it's because you're not doing enough. So let's just, let's motivate you and keep you going. So it's, that's why it is so important when, if, if you are in an MLM, that these uplines always say how important it is for you to go to these events, because it is those events that will just keep you stringing along of our message. What do we seek to do? Not just work to get paid once. You can do that with a job. It is to work paid to get many, many, many times. It is to work once to get paid many times. That depends upon people entering the community and staying in it forever. My own experience is that if a person's gathering new knowledge, converting that knowledge into skills that become beneficial to others, and at the same time becoming willing to confront oneself or be confronted by another such that any area of character weakness which stands between us and more positive association with more people can be removed. You see, it says teach, travel, and then transform teach, deliver the information that is necessary for a new person to have a different outcome. Travel, develop community together that creates relationships that are so tightly knit they simply cannot be broken. And as a result of the experience, a process, learn, grow, develop, become, to transform. And to transform, not just in terms of adding more money, but to have an overall improved life experience. Now, over the course of my years in business, I have come to understand that there are five elements which are required for success. Um, I've come to understand which of those elements is most important. And those elements, by the way, are what? The first element required for success is a product or a service that matters to people. And I would here um, remind you all of this simple thought. A few months ago, about a year ago, I became extraordinarily intrigued with the idea of no longer getting paid in my life because I'm a persuader. The truth is I'm a persuader. Some of you are persuaders. Um, at one station of my career, I persuaded. 
Oh, in this context, I don't feel like that's the flex he thinks it is. Persuasion or brainwashing? Mm. In this context, it's... The persuasion is is not a, a good thing. <laughs> it's a sad thing, honestly. Like, in East... I, oh, God. You have to be persuasive to be, like, a salesperson. I get that. I, like, that's absolutely fine. But in the context of an MLM, I just... It's icky, you know? with the help of some other fantastic leaders, but I persuaded an entire body of the population that they should be using a natural solution to reduce their cholesterol instead of using a prescription drug. As a result of assembling a team of knowledgeable and skillful persuaders, we build a great big business. In another chapter in my life, we build a big business persuading others that they should increase antioxidant values by using the acai berry from Brazil. Now, for the last decade, I've been persuading people about the benefits of non-psychoactive cannabis. Here's what I know. If instead of getting paid because we're persuading others to do something we would like them to do, if we can instead get paid to help other people do what they've already decided to do. You see what Nick and Eric and Larry had the clarity to see, which I did not see, as one day they were apparently driving down the highway seeing hotels on the right and left, is people are checking into those hotels, aren't they? And they're checking in not because we told them to, they're not checking into a hotel because we asked them to. They're checking into a hotel, they're booking an airline. I just, oh, can we just take a second to appreciate like Larry's, Larry's, why did I say Larry? Because I looked at Larry Lane's name on the, on the screen here. Can we just take a second, though, to admire um, Randy's storytelling skills that we have seen time and time again on many of his of his videos? <laughs> it's just fantastic. They're booking a vacation. They're not doing it because we asked them to. They're doing it because they want to, either because their business or job requires it or because a family vacation causes them to desire it. And so this vision that has been prominent right now for several months and it gets bigger all the time, the idea of getting paid not because we're causing other people to do something we want them to do, but that in fact we're getting paid as a result of helping people do what they want to do, but helping them do it for a little less money, that for me is a valid idea. Um, when I said at the outset there are five elements required for success, the first a product or service that matters to people. Well, the question, what is the product? The product is the chance to learn, grow, develop. And wait, 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 wait. Okay. I need to, I'm sorry. I need to pause him one more time. Um, so the part where he's like, we're not making them stay at a hotel in most cases, no. But can we just backtrack it and just connect it to the part where you have to go on a company retreat or the conventions where you are being forced to travel and check into that hotel? Um it's just, it's a little double speaky. Um, I know he's obviously like looking at that as a complete separate situation, but I just, I find it interesting. That's all. It's just a, it's just a point I wanted to make. But again, obviously in his context, he's just talking about people taking vacations in general. I get that. I get that. Don't come at me in the comments. I'm just saying when you're in an MLM, you tend to be forced to travel, you know? Become that what you must to get the key to lock of success in every aspect of your life. The product, the opportunity being offered, is the chance to uh, become in a community of some of the most extraordinary people I've ever seen who have found a way to overcome obstacles in every part of life. And it's a chance specifically to be guided by this leadership group that I put in front of you. When I said there are five elements required for success, those five elements are first a product or service that matters to people. In my estimation, we offer not just a, but several products and services today and more coming. And when I say today, I mean the next week or 10 days that matter to almost all people. And so that part is, is kind of a given. The second element required for success for most of my life, I've kind of given short order. I've said it's the company um, because I've long believed that the assembly of the leadership group is, respons is the responsibility of us, the leadership in the organization, the development of leadership leadership group is historically for me not been the role of the company. You know what? I've never had an ownership group who could teach, coach, and educate about the principles of building a network marketing organization like Nick, Eric, and Larry Kemp. And by the way, some people ask me, Randy, why are you in such unabashed support of this group of people? I'm in such unabashed support of this group of people because I've seen the way they've conducted themselves over the course of the last 9, 10, and 11 months in what was an extraordinarily difficult environment, um, trying to help another entrepreneur get their company off the ground. And I saw the way these guys responded when things went well, and I saw the way they responded when things went poorly. And I'll tell you, I saw it with great- Looks like they jumped ship when things went bad. Because. <laughs> Aren't these the people that are connected to transact cards? So they jumped ship and then also so did Randy. And that's why we're here right now. Uh, yeah, like, ugh, that's icky. I'm going to use the word icky a lot. I'm sorry if that's annoying. Fascination, not an ability to not just hold people together in a challenging environment, but to deliver the kind of leadership that caused people to remain optimistic in the face of extraordinary and difficult times. And so I want you to know that I have absolutely no hesitation whatsoever in complete, total, and absolute support of Nick Shorts and Eric Allen and Larry Wayne. Different skills, different capacities. Uh, we all benefit tremendously now from specifically Eric's experience in the travel industry. We benefit specifically now from Nick's experience in the financial services and trading world. We benefit very specifically from all three of these gentlemen's experience and knowledge. 
What I think it's funny too, because it seems to be because in Transact Card, the only thing that really seemed to kind of be successfully launched was like their travel area of the um like the Finmore store or the Transact store. That you did see a few, not a whole lot, but a few people using their discounts towards hotel purchases for their vacations or towards a cruise. They weren't necessarily free, but they were discounted with your cash back or whatever it was. But it was very few. There were not a lot of options. And I also, when I covered that in one of my other Transact videos, I don't think that like you even got to choose the weekend. It was just that was the weekend of whatever it was. So then it makes me think, are these just like leftover open spots on a cruise that they're just trying to fill in last minute? Wow, I didn't even make that connection. Um, yeah. So anyway, but back to Nilo life, I think that's it's funny that that's like the first thing they're talking about is like the one thing that like almost worked in Transact Card. Building very, very large, successful more, network marketing organizations. And by the way, I've observed that firsthand. Um, it is there can sometimes be luck involved when one is a one hit wonder, when one has a measure of success one time in a company network marketing, when a person has multiple successes, when it becomes decades long and is not tied to a specific moment of timing with a specific company, when success results again and again because proper principles are being applied, proper leadership groups are being created, that is when um, the, the best way to correctly predict the future, I believe, is to carefully and critically study the past. Uh, the best way to win is to associate yourself with winners, and that is exactly what I have done, what we each have an opportunity to do. Now, the reality is that the vast majority of people who are interacting with me right now have a pressing and somewhat urgent need to make money. Um, we can watch the we can watch the news and, and we can get impressions of what's going on in the economic uh, realities of families. Uh, my impression is that there are a lot of people who are really struggling today. I, I get that impression. If you go to the gas station, you'll see. Now, I'm like super curious because he's like people need to make money right now. And we are we are they are in a pre-launch situation. So I wonder how long it is going to actually take for them to launch or if this truly is going to be another situation where they can't get this off the ground, just like transact card and Finmore. So that it'll be super interesting to watch. Um, yeah. Any predictions in the comments? Do we think this one will actually go far? number of people who are walking outside to pay for their gas. Why is that? It's because they haven't got the credit available on their credit card. And so when I, when I first looked at anything that would cost money as opposed to make money, I said, you know, this has got to be something that that is incredibly attractive at every single level. And I think the Neo Life, um, the, the Neo Nilo Life lifestyle membership does exactly that. I mean, truly. Thank you. Oops, I'm going to go ahead all one more time. There we go. Sorry about that. And so what exactly is inclusive in that membership? First of all, Neo Life Travel, I have had the benefit, by the way, of having a glimpse into the travel partner back office. It's important for you to know that while Nilo Life is a new company, the travel partner is not new at all. The travel partner, in fact, is very, very large, has existed for a long time, has done an enormous amount of business doing corporate junkets around the world. Um, I did have Eric was kind enough to send me a, a preview link to Glance not too many, a couple of weeks ago. And I can tell you that if what you want to do is uh, book the Grand Hyatt in Hong Kong, you can, and you can book it for less money, a few percent less than if you book that same hotel on Expedia. And you say, Randy, a few percent, 10 percent, is that enough? Well, what if the room's 800 bucks because the Grand Hyatt in Hong Kong? Yes, absolutely enough. What if you want to book the Holiday Inn Express in Tarpon Springs, Florida? Well, you can do that too. And you'll save eight or $10 or seven or $6. Is that enough? Yes, if it's measured against a $10 price. Uh, Neo Life Travel, the opportunity to help other people do what they want to do because they want to do it, not because we want them to. We're helping other people do what they want to do because they want to do it. We're helping them do it for a little less money. It doesn't have to be a lot less money. It can be a little less money. Now you get to the life trips. Here, I I've come to understand that- If these people need to make money, like they're probably not traveling a lot right now. And like you definitely would need to save more than six dollars on your hotel for it to be worth it. If you are in a position like where you're having trouble, like filling your gas tank, for instance, like this is not if, if you are struggling to make money, joining a travel membership is probably not the first thing that you're going to do. And if it is something you're going to do, I think think you should can you can absolutely work travel into a budget i'm definitely not saying that you can't but a membership that saves you like six dollars on your hotel room i just don't think is the way to go that's in, in my opinion when we gather people together in groups and communities and we create relationships of mutual trust and respect, when we create relationships that transcend the business offering, that is when we have a legitimate chance to grow a business that stands the test of time. When it is tied purely to the economic opportunity, my experience is this. 
If it's tied purely to the economic opportunity, there are too many opportunities for pride, ego, arrogance, disappointments. The human condition is one that sometimes puts people at odds. When it is only about money, the organization will one day, if not fracture, it will fail to reach its fullest potential. When it transcends being only about money, when it is about relationship, when it is all inclusive. My belief is that by participating in one of the premium curated travel experiences, if you can influence people in your group to become in association with the leadership in the network and the leadership at the company, if you can cause people to embrace this as not simply a money-making mechanism, but in fact, the chance to learn, grow, develop, and become that which I must, a greater success in all aspects of my life. That will become more tangibly real for those who participate in the life trips and those who do not. Now, those life trips are USA only presently, but that will change in the not too distant future. When I say not too distant future, I will- ah, In that of which I must. Ah, I don't like this kind of salad. Do not like this kind of salad, Randy. This is, this is too many. There's too many toppings on the salad. It's too many toppings on the word salad. But completely open-ended so we don't create unrealistic expectations. Neo life, life streaming. Um, this plays directly into- um, my worldview. Remember that today, at this second in time, we find ourselves joining a new entity, a remarkable, a remarkable possibility in my estimation. Let's stop and ask ourselves a simple question. Do we believe we'll all get the same outcome? What do you think? Will we all get the same outcome? Well, as a result of certain components of this compensation plan, the fact that it's a forced matrix, that will create a more level playing field than any other compensation mechanism in network marketing. We will all get more of some of the outcome. This forced matrix thing that I keep seeing in so many newer MLMs is like driving me so insane because it's if they call it a forced matrix and so it's like they're just stocking for you right and it's like in so many older mlms and like even like like monate for instance like that stacking is like not illegal but it's like against company policy and it's so funny that this one thing has such a pull because with it automatically stack stacking like this, the force matrix where it just puts people where they are needed, it doesn't make an even playing field. It means that one person is going to be stuck at the very bottom. So it, so no, it doesn't make it an even playing field because that means that nobody can go ahead of you in the pyramid. Like you can, that's just not how that works. And then when someone quits, they're just automatically forced to wherever it's like, uh, it's not, it's not a good thing. I mean, nothing about MLMs is, is good, but this definitely doesn't make anything better. But will we all get the same outcome? No, we will not. What will be the difference? Because the opportunity is the same for all. The compensation plan is the same for all. The product offerings are the same for all. What then is the difference? The difference is the ability to execute of each next individual. And that is why the next bullet point where it says Nilo life streaming hits into my sweet spot. What we currently know, what we currently know how to do, and the way we currently conduct ourselves, our knowledge, our skills, and our character dictate our current outcome. If we take that exact same bank of knowledge, skill, and character and apply it to a new company because of the unique dynamics of this particular company, because of the most profound moment of timing I've seen in the last 25 years, now there will be those who will bring exact current skills into this. And for the second, for the, for the next few moments, because like sand through the hourglass, we find such critically important moments right now, there will be those whose earnings outperform their own personal development for a period of time. That will not remain true long-term. It is those who are constantly on the path of growth who stay in front of the curve. I've realized for the last 30 years, my principal job is in growing people, and that will continue both in my own leadership camp boot camp efforts but also specifically in nilo live streaming the nilo live shop you know i've watched with fascination i study the entire direct selling industry um, i never want to think of myself as copying anyone but certainly i want to think of myself as learning from what other people do i mean it would be insane to say that other people don't have something to teach me and i've watched with fascination um, a couple of companies have really really tremendous success on a multinational scale over the course of the last uh, couple of years in the post covid environment simply by providing relatively modest discounts to a market basket of consumer goods that people want and need on a daily basis the nilo life shop will make that opportunity available in the united states pretty much coming out of the gate and I will tell you in advance that it will begin with a relatively modest group of offerings. In fact, it's already there. You've seen some of them. I'm personally um, involved in conversations to bring other really, really exciting products to the company, both domestically and internationally. And one of the things, and in fact, I, I will just be quiet. And I'll wait until I'll wait until um, Nick or someone at the company announces it. But I learned some things about uh, the way the store will operate in the last couple of days, specifically as it relates to our income generating possibility that I was unaware of until literally yesterday or the day before uh, the live shop. And then, of course, um, I've been an advocate of teaching people this basic truth. We will never have financial security in our lives. The I don't know what I'm able to offer you, but I'm telling you it's good, like scheme that he does. I don't like that. The I just learned something yesterday and it's going to be great for you. Like, I need all the information to make an educated decision. And I think everybody would want and should have all the information before they choose to make a decision of whether this could work for them or not, MLM or not we need all the information and so when people do this pre-launch spiel and all this i just think it's so terrible like 
I, why can't we know all the information up front? Like, why do I have to sign up for pre-launch? Like, why? It's so, and again, it's, in my opinion, it's so they can make as much money as possible. And then when the, when the shit hits the fan and it doesn't work out, they've already made their money and they move on to the next thing. Just like we've seen in other companies. As long as it is us, the individual who's making the money. If you are making the money, you do not have financial security because if something happens to you, there's no more money being made. The time when we have true financial security is when our money makes the money that is required for us to support our lifestyle. Um, I frankly, I wish that the life trade possibility would be available in the United States immediately. It cannot be. Um, SEC rules in the United States are, are quite robust. You can do trades. You don't have to be a part of an MLM to do like trading and investing. You can talk to somebody who is well versed in that and in a professional in that investment setting or you can you know have a job with a 401k and and stuff like that and you can make your investments and build your retirement that way so that way you can continue you know making money and, and stuff like that by having your money invested in, in such things it's just funny that like they feel like oh yeah we need this neo life trade thing to be available so that way you can your money can grow and it's like you don't have to do it that way just like at cost metals they're like you have to join you know be a membership of this to get to buy these metals which are going to appreciate in value it's like just go do it like why do we have to be why does there have to be an mlm scheme involved like why can't you just go and like and there's just so many apps that you can just choose to invest yourself in. Again, talk to a professional. Don't screw that up. It is much like gambling. I do not. This is not financial advice. This is just me saying that you don't need Neil Life Trade to be available for you to do those things. You don't need an MLM to, to help you do those things. You shouldn't do those things in an MLM. That's how you lose your money. It's just go talk to a professional at a bank and and look into retirement and investment and, and talk, d do it that way, not this way. A trading program that will be introduced multinationally is something that I support entirely. Once again, I've used that word a couple of times. I support entirely. Um, I've been not an advocate of trading programs for the consuming public. I was in the financial services world for quite a while. I've seen women, people get hurt trying to individually know how to trade on signals and so on. Uh, this mechanism, I'll allow you to learn more specifically from the company and the markets where it is available, but it's a very, very risk averse, a hedge portfolio, institutional money. It is not about uh, convincing individual investors that they would know how to succeed in the trading arena because I don't believe that they will. Uh, this is the absolute truth. If then why are we offering it? Just like I said, like, oh, it's not for everybody and you shouldn't just like do it without like, professional advice and i'm just showing you guys my extensions here i don't know why but like i ugh. so they're just gonna make this oh god it's just because in this situation these people are always so vulnerable so if you are somebody that does want to invest and take the leap and figure that out yourself or talk to a professional do whatever do that but you know that these people are desperate for that money and they're that that's like a shitty word to say but like they're in more vulnerable positions where they're going to try almost anything i feel like in most situations and so when this is your audience and then you're saying that this will be available to them soon it's just it's like scary to me because i feel like these people are going to lose money like it's yeah the all my opinions but i just i i don't like this it doesn't make me feel good it makes me feel icky having the all of the investment ones i just think are some of the worst mlms because not only do you invest in the mlm you invest even more money and i just feel like there's even higher risk involved than just i mean there is always a risk involved but i just feel like it, it gets even higher when not only are you investing in this membership thing with the promise of it helping you grow your money then you probably do have to use some of your money to use the investment programs you know what i'm saying does that make sense um it makes sense to me but i just feel like yeah this target market and in, in talking about investment tools and stuff like that it's not oh it's just not good i don't think people i just i think people are going to make bad decisions and lose more money and that makes me sad and i don't want that to happen
a person did not have financial constraints, what would they do over and over and over again? The response is, I would like to see and experience the world. When I think of what this direct selling industry has done for me, certainly the fact that uh, my financial life has been different than I ever dreamed it could be, that's been important. But you know what's likewise been important? Um, I did not know, for example, uh, not a comfortable admission for me, but I was raised in a little community in Idaho where every single person was the same color, had the same tone in their skin, we were all the same religion. I did not know that I was raised um, into certain forms of bigotry. I didn't even know that. Randy, were you raised in a cult? <laughs> Come on, you guys are all thinking it. <laughs> That's, yikes. Until I started working in environments and I found out that people all over the world have a different spiritual beliefs, they have different life experiences, and they all want the same thing. They all want to be more happy more of the time, and the same components contribute to that for all of us. Um, when, as a result of becoming successful in this industry, I lived for a period of time in Japan, my worldview changed. When I lived for a period of time in Israel, my worldview changed. When I lived for a period of time in Singapore and traveled extensively throughout Indonesia and Malaysia, my worldview changed. Um, we don't just have fun when we travel. It's more than that. My own experience is that our worldview changes. And my further experience is that the bigger my worldview is, the bigger my financial outcome can be in that worldview. I promise you, when you log into the travel portfolio, you are going to be impressed. You're going to be impressed with the look. You're going to be impressed with the feel. And you're also going to be impressed with the actual value proposal in the travel offering itself. And remember this, in, uh, in wisdom, wisdom which I would not have had, the company chose to be so very, very uh, lenient and generous to people at the very front end of the compensation plan that one need not even enroll a single member himself or herself to have the basic monthly fee to access all of the company's opportunities will be covered by by many, many, many people who have not even enrolled one, but who as a result of a community bill getting paid through four generations have that travel portfolio available at literally no cost. And by the way, magic to that message. For so many years, I argued that if we pay people who do nothing, we won't have the money left to pay those who really produce. That was wrong thinking. What we should do is provide a mechanism that makes it an absolute automatic to stay forever involved. If we allow a person with literally zero productivity to nevertheless get compensated in the compensation plan an amount equal to or greater than whatever is the monthly cost of association, then there's no reason to ever quit. Therefore, we will not. Well, then where's the money going to come from? Now I'm definitely curious how this is gonna work out. To be always filling the bottom of the bucket. A life trip for everybody. I'm so thrilled to know that the first one for the domestic market has already been announced coming up this fall. And this is my experience. It's interesting to me to look. I see the person I happen to be seeing on the screen right now is Jim Moyles. And Jim Moyles and I, we have a friendship and relationship that has spanned some 30 years. And you know what, Jim, part of that relationship, in fact, the entire relationship was hinged on our joint association of the network marketing industry, wasn't it? And that entire association was also developed by the fact that we did things together in various parts of the world. I cannot imagine what else we might have been involved in that would have resulted in this relationship going so far, so long, and impacting so many people for good. That happens to be one person whose picture I'm looking at on the screen right now. Multiply that by literally tens of thousands of people, not all of whom have had the same experience as Jim and I have had, but what an amazing thing it has been. Our first life trip is coming up, and I will tell you that there will be relationships formed on that very first trip that will stand the test of time. As I now reference my friends, my friends, we've done literally millions and millions of dollars in business together. We've had life experience together. There will be people who meet for the first time at that event who then become not just business associates, but friends. And some of those relationships will stand the test of time. They'll be standing 30. So are these Nilo life events that you're traveling to, or are these just like, I chose to go on this vacation on a discount events? Like, it's a little unclear to me. So for him to talk about how much clarity he has, he's not, he's not explaining it very clear. Um, maybe I'm just misunderstanding it, but this to me is just, I'm, I'm, I'm more confused now, to be honest, just like I always am when Randy talks. <laughs> years from now and a positive side effect of all that that relationship has become will become increased financial success and more positive life experience for all involved leo and we talked briefly about you know, live streaming the idea that we must all learn grow develop become it's on its way initial items in the live shop once again items that we buy and use that are good that represent value and you can have 28 to 30 percent discounts off what you might find in the local health food store and investment trading I've long been a uh, subscriber to the idea that it is not about the money we make, it is about the money that our money makes. I've subscribed to the principles taught in The Richest Man in Babylon, authored by George S. Klassen so many years ago, authored in 1903. And what he taught was that we must pay ourselves first. We scrape some of every single commission check off the top. We invest it conservatively and wisely into a managed portfolio. Didn't we learn from like Transact Card that maybe we shouldn't talk about things that aren't available yet because they might not be available? I mean, that's just my opinion. Maybe we should hold the phone and not talk about the stuff that's not available yet. I mean, well, none of it's available yet because it's all pre-launch, but you know what I'm saying? And you know, those people who are able to do that multinationally in our trading program, I am envious of you. Those who cannot yet access that program, sweep 10% off the top anyway, and invest it in a similar managed portfolio domestically, mimic and mirror match what we're doing internationally until such program becomes available domestically, which is coming. I'm not gonna go into further detail with the trading program now, except to tell you it's the single largest, it is the single largest market we could possibly participate in. We understand that there are countless people who would like to use our service, but who don't have an interest in the business right now. That is fantastic. There are lots and lots and lots more people who are going to travel this year than who are going to launch a new business this year. 
We want to be involved in all parts of that. In the referral program, when a customer simply refers three others to utilize the services, that grants access to that customer, the original customer, for free. Let's talk just a little bit. So I'm going to go back over here. I have to do a little bit more beginning. I apologize. Get back over here. Stop this share for a second. Okay. You, um... How much is it if you don't refer the three people, though, if you just want to be involved in it? I'm curious. Just keep doing that. Okay. And we'll come back over to my share screen. Sorry, folks. So now, let's get specifically and exactly um, to where the rubber hits the road. We have here um, nearly 400 people reviewing this session right now, and I don't know what percentage of those people have a current pressing financial need. I'm guessing that quite a few do. And I want to remind you all, those who have a current pressing financial need, when I talk about the possibility of, of engaging in a travel program and you traveling, you might be saying to yourself, wait a minute, Randy, I need to make money right now. I'm not concerned about spending money. I would remind you that my single biggest financial success in my life came not because I wanted or needed the product the company offered. It was a cholesterol reduction item. I was 32 years old and had no need for that. What I recognized was a tremendous market for that which the company offered. I I did not need to have a personal need for it. I would consider the Neo Life membership to be something that is for everyone because literally everyone is going to book into a hotel room somewhere this year. Why not do it on their own side as opposed to somebody else's side? Why not pay yourself a little bit as opposed to paying somebody else? I consider the business mechanism something that would have a great application for more people if I had anything I've seen before in my own business career. I'd probably do that with you. So wait, it's $20 for the whole year? Then what? So what? what's the point? I, I'm oh, not that seeing that. Uh, one simple business principle that I learned many years ago. If the market that I'm in is staying the same size, let's imagine for a moment that uh, I'm in a market. In fact, I'm going to grab myself a whiteboard here. You and you see how he just like skipped over that slide and didn't want to talk about how it was $20 a year. I mean, that's fine. Okay. That's not expensive. But like, why didn't he talk about that? <laughs> like, is that not a solid number? Like, what's going on here? Does it get insanely more expensive after that first year? If it's only $20 a person, I mean, what are what are the benefits besides getting $6 off of a hotel room booking? I'm not, I'm just not seeing it. You guys can see that. I want you to imagine for just one second that here is the market that I am in. And I am in the market. And Jim is in the market. I reference my friend Jim Wiles. I guess I'm going to go. And Jim, he's better than me. So there's Jim and here's Randy. And Jim's got 65% and I've got 35%. But other people can see that we're succeeding. They're taking a look and they say, wow, look at the home that Jim Wiles lives in. Look at the life he lives. Look at that Randy guy. He seems to live a life, nice life. And so I saw just a second ago that Brian Rhodes entered this Zoom. And so here was Brian. Brian, he's out here. He's on the outside. He's looking in. And he says, wow. Jim's making money and Randy's making money. I want a piece of that. And so he comes in. Well, Brian's a good guy. What's going to happen when Brian comes in? He's going to get some of that, isn't he? And where's it going to come from? Well, something's going to come from Jim. Something's going to come from Randy. That's what happening. That's what happens when the market that we're in is the same size. What if there's some outside force or pressure dynamic that's causing the market to get smaller? Well, then there's not only not room for Brian to come, but if Randy or Jim's going to get squeezed out. Now, what if, on the other hand, there is some outside force or pressure or dynamic that's big, it's powerful, it's beyond our control, and it's causing the market to grow, and the market's growing more rapidly than Jim and I can handle? I can't handle it all. It's growing too fast. I don't have room. Jim can't either. Well, now Brian can come in and get this piece for himself without taking it from Randy or Jim. I've learned over the course of my entire career that if we can position ourselves in markets that are growing dramatically, then we will be in a non-competitive environment. And so let's just take a really quick look. Here we can see that the current market for travel is $8.3 trillion annually. Well, that's a great big market. But what did we just learn? Just a couple of days ago, it was Bloomberg in Europe said that that market would grow by 30% in the next immediate few years. 30% added to 8.3 trillion, folks. That's another 2.4 trillion added to it. Everything he just said and he like made that chart for, I wish he would have been smart enough to like show the chart and stop sharing his screen because I feel like I have no idea what the hell he's talking about. Dramatic market expansion, whether or not you knew it when you said yes to this idea or what will occur when you say yes to this idea is you'll put yourself in an environment where the market is growing more dramatically than the current participants can absorb. Therefore, you're in a non-competitive environment. If you want to make making money a pleasure and relatively easy, then don't compete with others, but earn market share that you don't have to take from another. I have unbelievable enthusiasm for the pay plan. And I know that uh, the typical anticipation when one logs into uh, one of these sessions is that it will be brief and that I've taken a little bit more time, but one needs to understand the way the compensation plan works. For uh, six ways to get paid. Oh, yeah. Here we go. First and foremost, we know that people are under financial pressure right now. They need to get the money back. Every single person that you introduce to this program who says yes to it, that will earn you a $25 bonus. That is called the starter bonus. By the way, what is your entry fee? It is $79, $79 annually. You enroll one person, you got $25. Enroll two, you're two-thirds of the way home. Enroll your third person, and your cash flow positive. I promise you there will be lots and lots and lots of people who enroll their first, their second, their third person in their first 45 minutes of involvement with the program. What is the unified bonus? It's more than a name. It is a, the concept of getting paid because we're assuring that other... I'm enrolling in a program at $79 a year that 
is going to save me six bucks off of a hotel room for one night. And you're saying, well, everybody gets a hotel room at least once a year. So unless you recruit people into this to get that $25, you are immediately losing money unless you decide to run it as a business. Did I understand that right? Because that's how he explained it. So I don't understand why you would join this. People get paid. Money that we make because other people spend is bad money. Money that we make because other people try and struggle is not good money. Money that we make because other people earn is very, very good money. The whole concept of the unified bonus is to make sure that the enroller is more than an enroller, but a responsible sponsor. When you enroll one person, you get paid 25 bucks every time you do it. When you help that person get unified, you get paid $75 each time. What does it mean to be unified? It means that you've enrolled two and you've helped them get two. Now you're unified. That pays $75 each time. That means you've enrolled too, and then you help them enroll too. So you help your downline rank up, so then you can rank up and you can get a bonus. Don't underestimate the importance of that. We will have people who in the first two weeks have 50, 75, 100 people get unified in the first two weeks. There are people who need that 10, 15, or 20 times $75. If you're among them, then you be among those who say, this is my moment, like sands through the hourglass, there go the days of my lives. People will take action. People will say yes, based upon fear of loss at a totally different level than they will based upon anticipation of gain. That is why one can have such a greater outcome in a very short period of time today. The unified bill, I'm gonna skip through that one quickly because I'm a little bit late on time. Um, this is really important, folks. How does the starter bonus work? I just described it. You enroll one person, you get 25 bucks each time. Bobby. Oh, and then that's only a starter bonus. That's not even like, like throughout the entire system. So yeah, that's just the starter bonus, which a lot of MLM companies do where they try to get you to do the most work in those first like month or two, sometimes three months, depends on, you know, what it is. But those starter programs get you to make a lot of money in those first few months. And then it keeps you hooked because you're like, oh, my God, this is making me so much money. But once those starter bonuses are gone, you're not making nearly that. And it's a lot harder to maintain the income, even if you are somebody that does make a lot of money, because if you're making if you unify seven people and you get that 75 or 10 people, just for a sake of math, you unify 10 people and it's 70 bucks each. So then you're or 75 bucks each. So then you're now you're at $750 for unifying 10 people. So that means you have gotten 10 people into it. And then you've gotten those 10 people to get two people. So now you have 30 people in your entire organization underneath you, right? Yeah. Cause yeah. What? <laughs> that's not even easy. Like that's insane. Yo, stop making it sound like this is like anybody can do this because it's not, that's just not how this works. Enrolls one, he gets 25. When you help Bob become unified, what does that mean? When you help Bob become unified, then that pays you $75. I realize these are small figures, but I've learned that one must focus first on the little money. Having focused on the little money, it then becomes appropriate to go to the larger money. So I'm going to give you a brief illustration. I'm going to give you a brief whiteboard illustration of three different kinds of money that can be earned in this compensation plan. And by the way, I see that Nick Sorensen is here. Nick, if I say. All right. Well, that was the end of it. That's part one. And honestly, that's enough for me. Um, so that was that was the video in its entirety. And I think and the part two where he does the whole illustration on the whiteboard is in another video that's an hour long that I uh, do not have time today to break down. But perhaps I will in the future if you guys are interested. But I do think that gave us a lot of insight about Nilo life. Um, it also gave us um, a lot of oh, what is it that you sell exactly? So that's what Randy's on now. And I don't really foresee this staying alive too much in the future. I just I feel like even if like the company itself exists for a while, I do think like the turnover rate in this and like the drop off rate is going to happen really fast because again, after those like those starter bonuses, once they're gone, like that's when people are going to be like, well, shit, this isn't sustainable. So just proving it is just another MLM scam, in my opinion, and you don't think um, it's worth going from transact card to this i think once you're done with transact card i think you should just be or fin more i think you should just take a step back from mlms because you are going to lose money here and even if it's not a whole lot of money i think it's still not it's just not worth it i just don't see this being sustainable it's not like you're not going to make a lot of money here you're just not it's not going to happen in my opinion so 
I don't know. What do you guys think? Write it in the comments. What are your thoughts on this? Is $79 even cheap? Is it worth it? Um, obviously, we don't think it is because it's an MLM, but that is what Mr. Randy Schrader, however you say his last name, has moved on to. So I will probably do an update on this and see what happens in the next week or two and see how this continues to unfold, as well as going back to updates on Finmore as that continues to crash and burn. So don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff. And I will catch you guys on to the next video. Bye.